Today we're going to learn how to write electron configuration, longhand electron configuration. Let's first review the blocks on the periodic table. So groups 1 and 2 here plus helium make up the S block. Groups 13 through 18 here make up the P block. In the center, the transition metals make up the D block. And um, the F block is made up of the inner, whoops, we don't want that. F block. So we're going to write two longhand electron configurations. The first one we're going to do is for nitrogen. And nitrogen's right here in the P block on the periodic table. For longhand electron configuration, we're going to start at the beginning of the periodic table with um, hydrogen. So we're going to start here. And so we start with the first energy level. And you can see on the periodic tables you're given and the ones here, right in the middle, let me just show you. You have the energy level and um, block written there. So we're going to start with hydrogen. Um, it's the first energy level, the S sublevel. And I'm going to go through the S block, so that'd be 1S2. That's 1S is hydrogen, 1S2. 1s1 is hydrogen, 1s2 is helium. I move down to the second energy level, 2. I'm in the s block still, so it's 2s, and I'm going to be 2s2. I'm at beryllium right now. I'm moving over to the p block. The p block is still at the second energy level, so it's 2p. And I count over 1, 2, 3. It'll be 2P3. And that would be the longhand electron configuration for nitrogen. Now I want to go over a few things within this configuration. This 1, any of the coefficients, the 1s, the 2s, those are the energy level. The letters tell you the sublevel. And the superscripts at the top tell you the number of electrons. And so nitrogen is atomic number 7. Which means it has 7 protons. It's electrically neutral, so it would have seven electrons. And if you look at your electron configuration, the superscripts added together should equal the number of electrons. So I have three plus two plus two gives me seven electrons. So we're going to do another longhand electron configuration. This time, we are going to do the electron configuration for gold. 
which is atomic number 79. And it's here in the D block. And I'm actually going to write it below the periodic table. Um, we're going to start in the first energy level, 1s, and it'd be 1s2, takes us through the first energy level. We move down to the second energy level, which is still the S sublevel, 2s, so 2s, 1, 2. We're going to move over to the 2P, the second energy level P block. So I'm going to cross over to the 2P. 2P, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2P, 6. We're going to move down to the S block, which is the third energy level here. So we're at 3S. The S sublevel can hold two electrons, so 3S2. We're going to go across to the third energy level, P block, 3P, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. After 3P, we're at 4S. 4s, 1, 2. Now we're going into the D block. And I just want to remind you that the D block starts at energy level 3. And so we're at 3D. The D block can hold 10, sorry, the D sublevel can hold 10 electrons. And so if you count across 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 3D, 10. We're back over to the P block now. And so we're at 4P, 6, because if you count across, there's 6. So we're at 4P, 6. We move back down and to the S block. We're at 5S12, 5S2. We're back at the D block now, and it's 4D. It's 4D, and then you count across to 4D10. To the P block, 5P. Six. We're going to move down to the S block. We're at 6S and it's 6S2. Now, if you notice on your periodic table, there are these arrows here that point down to the F block. After 6S, we move to the F block. So it goes 6S, and then we go down to 4F. The F block starts at energy level 4. And it comes in after 6S. And if we remember from our quantum number notes, the F sublevel can hold 14 electrons. And so if you count across, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 elements, 14 electrons. We are at 4F14.
we are now in the energy level and block where gold ends or where gold is located um, we're in the 5d so after 4f you go back up to the 5d and we're going to count over to gold one two three four five six seven eight nine so it'd be 5d nine Gold is atomic number 79. It has 79 protons. If you count up all the superscripts here, you would have 79 electrons. Now we're going to write the noble gas configuration. It's also called a shorthand. Um, the first thing we need to talk about is what are the noble gases. So noble gases are in group 18. And I will highlight them so group 18 these are the noble gases and they are special because they are non-reactive we'll learn them later how they have a complete outer energy level and so we can use them to write a shorter version of the electron configuration called a noble gas configuration. And so we'll do nitrogen, which we did in the longhand configuration. So again, nitrogen is here. And so when you're writing the noble gas configuration, you're looking for the noble gas the element in group 18 that has an atomic number less than the element you're writing the, the um, electron configuration for. Looking for the noble gas that comes before it. So nitrogen, there's neon, but it has atomic number 10, so it's greater than, its atomic number is greater than nitrogen, so we don't use neon. And then there's helium, and helium is above um, nitrogen has a lower atomic number so we will use helium so instead of starting with hydrogen we will start here and put the noble gas in brackets then you continue on I would be after helium I would be at the two the second energy level the S sublevel and there's two so 2s2 and then I move over to the P block I'm still in the second energy level 2p3 and that would be the noble gas configuration for neon so we're going to do the noble gas configuration for gold that was the other electron configuration we wrote. So gold, atomic number 79. So it's down here. Again, your noble gases are in group 18. And so you're looking for the noble gas that has an atomic number less than the element you're writing the configuration for. And so if I look at gold, atomic number 79 xenon would be our noble gas it has an atomic number of 54 so I would write the symbol for that in brackets so instead of having to start at hydrogen we would start here so then after xenon I'm in the sixth energy level s block so 6s 2 after 6s, we go to the fourth, the f block, sorry, the f block, which starts at the fourth energy level. And we're going all the way through that, so that's 4f14. And then we go back up to the 5d. 
And then we go through the 5D, stop at gold, that would be 5D9. So the noble gas configuration shortens your electron configuration. The noble gas represents those inner electrons found in the atom.